Hello. My name is Colin Stewart. I'm 19, transgender, assigned female at birth, and I was a student of the North Shore School Districts during my elementary and junior high school years. I decided in my sixth grade year that I no longer wanted to deal with the, with the seclusion that I felt from the bullying and name calling I experienced. So I made the executive decision to waver out, out of the junior high I was supposed to go to and went to North Shore Junior High School instead. This did not prove to be any better. Nobody knew me, and I didn't know them, and outside of a friend I made inquire with in the first week of school, I didn't talk to people much. I'm loud and outgoing. I love talking to people. But nobody wanted to talk to me. It didn't happen instantly. It was slow. A person calling me a name, somebody telling me I was too loud, too abnormal, called me a lesbian, and the worst derivatives of that. At one point in time, people started, decided that they wanted to call me Bumblebee because I really liked the color yellow. I learned what it felt like to be tripped in hallways and have our, our teacher monitor in the hallway tell me I was in the way as I picked up my stuff. I learned what it felt like to be shoved into walls and hide bruises. I learned what it felt like to know that if I volunteered for lunch detention, and then went to the library afterwards, I could usually avoid a confrontation. At the end of the school year, I didn't re-waver and went to Timbercrest Junior High instead. Once again, no better. People called me names. People continued to call me out. Within the first week of school, somebody asked me if I was really a lesbian. The last place I wanted to be while I was at school was, was school, and when I was home was school. Because when I was there, I was worried about the next time somebody would call me a name, somebody would jab me, somebody would decide that they had the right to push my body around. I told a teacher at one point I was being bullied and didn't know what to do, and they told me, kids will be kids. At another point, I told a teacher I was being bullied and I didn't know what to do, and they said unless I could give them specific names of everybody involved, they couldn't do anything. A teacher pulled me aside as I struggled to keep up in my, with my schoolwork because of everything that I was do, dealing with and told me that I was a failure and that if I continued doing this, doing school the way I was, that was all I would ever amount to be. Like it was all my fault. In 10th grade, I left the school district after a few meetings with the school counselor at Woodenville High School and she told me that there was no way she could guarantee my safety. So I left. I went there for three days and then left. I went to a high school in Seattle on Capitol Hill called Nova. And they make activism into an art form. They make sure that everybody is safe. The one time I got called a name there, I told a teacher. And within the day, they had apologized to me. And that student was signed up to have repeated meetings for a couple of months with a counselor to make sure that this this was not a repeated behavior. Students were asked to leave that school if they bullied other people. <laughs> the bullying and cruelty that is happening in the North Shore School District currently is not new. It's not, it is systemic. It is not concentrated to one environment, one group of people, or at one school. Something needs to be done because I survived long enough until I was able to run away. But not everybody has that privilege. No child is safe till every child is safe.